Okay, uh, welcome everyone to another video from cxcmattutor.com. That's cxc cxc mat tutor dot com. Okay. Um, it's all one word. Um, cxc mat tutor dot com. If you want to watch more videos, uh, please visit cxc mat tutor dot com. Also, if you want to join my live online cxc maths class, um, there's a link on the website that's called live online classes if you click on that link it will take you to the um the information site how you can join the join the, the webs uh or you can join the live online classes i remember i teach um all four levels of mathematics all right but cxc cset math cxc additional math and cxc cape mathematics all right and um <clears throat> I'm going to include a link um, in the description section of this video on YouTube. So once you click on that link, it will take you to the website where you can um, get more information on how to join the, the, the live online classes. Okay, so uh, a number of students uh, have asked me to do this question here on um, the January 2017 past paper, the exam that just passed last month. All right? And they want me to look at question number 11, um, the vectors and matrices question. And I decided to just do a video on it and post it on YouTube. So um, the matrix is equal to the matrix T is equal to C, 0, 0, D, maps a point 2, 3, right? P, 2, 3, onto the point Q, 2, negative 3. Determine the values of C and D. Right? Part 1. Part 2, determine the image uh, negative 5, 4 under the transformation T. Right? Uh, part 3, Describe fully the transformation T. And part four, find the matrix that maps the point Q back onto the point um, P. Okay. okay, and I believe that's all of it. Yeah. For us, we're doing question 11, but I'm, in this video, I'm going to do question 11A, and in the next video, I'm going to do question 11B. Okay, so the matrix T is equal to C0, uh, 0D, maps the point P, 2, 3, onto the point Q, 2, negative 3. Determine the values uh, C and D. So we can find C and D by simply multiply this 2 by 2 matrix here by the, the object point, which is P, 2, 3. Right? And that's going to give us the image point Q, which is 2, negative 3. And of course, the reason why I put the 2 by 2 matrix here and not here is because this is the order in which the multiplication is possible. Remember, this is a 2 by 2 matrix. This is a 2 by 1 matrix. These two numbers inside here are equal, and therefore, you can do the multiplication. That is the correct order. Right? Don't put it like this. 2, 3 and then C, 0, 0, D. And this is a 2 by 1. This is a 2 by 2. These two numbers are not equal, and therefore, you can't do the multiplication. And that's the reason why I put it in this order. Right. So remember, for the multiplication of matrices, the number of columns in the first matrix must equal to the number of rows in the second matrix for the multiplication to be possible. Right. All right, so... So how do you multiply matrices? Row by columns, row by columns, right? Rows multiply by columns. So C times two is two C plus zero times three is zero. So zero plus two C is just two C. Row times column, zero times two is zero. 
and d times 3 is 3d, three 0 plus 3d is 3d. That's going to equal to 2, negative 3. And remember, when two matrices are equal, then their corresponding entries are equal. So 2c is equal to 2, and 3d is equal to negative 3. And therefore, we can form these equations here. And so if 2c is equal to 2, we can divide both sides by 2. This cancel this. And we have c is equal to 1. All right, for the other one, 3d is equal to negative 3. All right, divide both sides by 3, which is a coefficient of d. This cancel this. So we have d is equal to negative 3 divided by negative. The negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1. All right, so therefore, our answer is c is equal to 1 and d is equal to negative 1. So that's what the question is asking you for. Determine the values of C and D. And that's what we did. All right, so C is equal to 1 and D is equal to negative 1 for two marks. All right. Part 2, determine the image of negative 5, 4 under the transformation T. So we know that the transformation matrix, if we replace these letters here with the numbers, the transformation matrix is going to be C is 1, and we have 0, 0, and D is negative 1. That's going to be our transformation matrix. And so now part 2 is asking you now to find the image of this point here, negative 5, 4, all right, after the transformation or under the transformation, T. So in other words, you're going to take the 2 by 2 matrix, which is a transformation matrix, and multiply by this point, they get the corresponding image point. Right? So this is the object point. You multiply the two by two matrix, which is a transformation matrix, to this object point to get the corresponding image point. So row times column, one times negative five is negative five, and zero times four is zero, negative five plus zero is negative five. Row times column, zero times negative five is zero, plus, Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. 0 plus negative 4 is negative 4. So this is now the, the image point all right, under the transformation. 1, 0, 0, negative 1. All right, so this is now the answer here. Negative 5, negative 4. Okay. All right, so part three is now asking to describe fully the transformation T. Describe fully the transformation T. Well, just by observing what we got from uh, the results here, when we take, for example, the transformation, which was 1, 0, 0, negative 1, and... Um, multiply by negative five, four, and we got negative five and negative four. Note our uh, results here. If you were sort of compare the two points here, the object point, right? And the image point. Right? Note that the X values of the two points uh, remain the same. So this is negative five, this is negative five. And the sign of the Y values changes. Right? So this was 4, this become negative 4. If this was negative 4, this would have been positive 4 and so on. And once you have a situation where the x values remain the same, and right? the x values are what they call invariant, does not change, and a sign of y value changes, it means that this is a, a reflection in the x-axis. It's right? so a reflection in the x-axis. So the x values remain the same and the y value changes. So the, the transformation T is in fact a reflection in the x-axis. All right, a reflection in the x-axis. This is the, the transformation matrix one, zero, zero, negative one. Okay. 
let's move on to part four, which asks us to find the matrix that maps the point Q back onto the point P. So let's go back to the um, our points here. All right. So we know that point P was two, three, and point Q was two, negative three. All right. So P was two, three, and Q was two, negative three. So it's actually the final matrix that maps the point Q back onto the point P. So we can develop uh, a matrix as we can use letters, for example, um, for two of our entries. So we can use the same C and D if we want, or you can say, for example, use A and B, and this is zero, zero. And if we take this matrix here and multiply by the, so now Q becomes the object point, right? So because we're mapping Q back onto P. So Q is the object point and P now the image point. This is Q. And this should equal to P, which is the image point in this case. Okay. And so now if we sort of, you know, multiply the matrices on the left hand side here, row times columns, all right? So row times column A times two, that's two A, plus zero times negative three is zero. So two A plus zero is two A, all right? Row times column, zero times two is zero, plus B times um, negative three is negative three B. Right? That should equal to Two, three. Again, two matrices are equal when their corresponding entries are equal. So 2A is equal to 2 and negative 3B is equal to 3. Right? So 2A is equal to 2. We divide both sides by 2. This cancel this. A is equal to 1. And for the other equation, negative 3B is equal to 3. Right? Divide both sides by negative 3. This cancel this, so we get B is equal to negative one. And so now we can replace this A and B by these values we get here. So the matrix in question now is A is one, uh, zero, zero, and B is negative one. Right? And it looks like it's actually the exact same matrix that we had before. Right? That represents a reflection in the x-axis. So this is a two by two matrix that represents the transformation that um, transformed the point Q back to the point P. One, zero, zero, negative one, all right, for two marks. All right, so that's it uh, for this question, question 11A. Um, Again, I'm going to leave a link uh, into the description section of this video that will take you to where uh, you can join my live online, my live online CXC maths classes. And yes, you can still join um, if you're doing the exam this year in May, June 2017. All right. And um, also, you can also join um, from now uh, if you're taking the exam in January 2018. All right. Okay, so that's it.